The planning effort normally gets initiated upon collecting business requirements from the client. Depending on their future business goals, we map the technical solution to fit that need. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be walking you through what I do as a network architect. I've created a day in the life video, so go check it out right over here. Consider this video as a second part, which will add more color to the previous one. So before we talk about what I do as a network architect, let's talk about what is a network architect. A network architect is responsible for managing all aspects of building a computer network, from establishing its governing principles and design to select and configuring physical or virtual components. Just as essential are ongoing operational and upgrade responsibilities, network architects create development roadmaps, oversee budgets, and establish internal processes and standards for the network maintenance and optimization. Keeping up with the technology trends, recognizing opportunities to increase network performance, our functionality and advising leadership on necessary technology investments are also key responsibilities of a network architect. As a network architect, we can find employment at organization in numerous industries, including telecommunication, finance, insurance, and computer system design services. This role is typically a senior IT position within an organization, often working alongside a team of IT engineers and communicating with management staff. As a network architect, we use their understanding of the organization business goals to develop network systems that meet them. Now let's jump into what I actually do as a network architect. So what do I actually do as a network architect? As a network architect, I'm responsible for planning, designing, and implementing next generation networks that meet or exceed an organization's needs. Once the next generation network is deployed, I monitor the network and perform network modeling tasks to assess future needs. Let's talk about some of my job responsibilities. Planning and designing the data communication networks is one of my first responsibilities. The planning effort normally gets initiated upon collecting business requirements from the client. Depending on their future business goals, we map the technical solution to fit that need. Once we understand the gaps, to see what it would really take from the current state to the future state architecture, we will gather a team to start collaborating on the plan for the future state architecture. A lot of times the teams will be myself depending on the budget of the project. Once we have thoroughly completed all mind mapping of the future state, I will go ahead and create a formal high level design document to put in front of the client what their future state will look like. This will give us and the client a good perspective of the shift, skills, and resources needed, and all other things to consider. Number two, presenting network plans to the management staff. Once I have the high-level design phase completed, I will start putting together a PowerPoint presentation that would include the network layout, topology, and all the foundational aspect of the network design. We would normally set up an hour call out of which 45 minutes would be dedicated to the presentation and 15 minutes for Q&A. This presentation will also include a detailed roadmap on how things would proceed if we were to implement this strategy for the clients, such as timeline, details, etc. Overseeing the network implementation process, including setting schedules, budget, etc. Number three, overseeing the network implementation process, including setting schedules and budgets. After the presentation has been successfully delivered and the client want to get into the next phase of the implementation, this is when I would start defining the scope of work to capture skills, resources, costs that would be needed to implement the project according to the defined roadmap. Number four, managing information in network security. At this time, we would try to identify some sort of a repository on the client's network where all these artifacts and deliverables would be kept and stored them for ease of access and to provide additional layer of security. Number five, implementing upgrades to hardware and software as needed. Alongside setting the schedules, budget, skills, resources, I would also create a BOM. BOM stands for bill of materials that would be required. The BOM is basically an invoice of what all is needed for the hardware and software aspect to get this project started and implemented such as routers, servers, licensing, etc. Number six, Performing maintenance and repairs to network equipment. Who will be performing the maintenance and repairs over time? 
Basically, what is the support contract that is going to be in place for this implementation? Would they like to bring a third party ISP or would like to manage the environment from within? Do they have the skills and resources to be able to do that? Once all that's decided, the client will narrow down on choosing a support model that would maintain their network equipment over time. Number seven, keeping documentation of networks, including drawings, descriptions, and configuration. This whole effort would draw various deliverables such as network high-level design, which would be about 200 pages, Word document, give or take, some physical and logical Visio or fluid chart network diagrams, roadmap documentation, PowerPoint decks, and possibly some high-level configuration guide if any requested by the client. All those deliverables will be kept where the repository was chosen earlier in the phase of the project, where all the documentation will be kept securely. Number eight, researching network technology and staying up to date on advancements in the field. This is by far probably the most important one. It is most important to keep information relevant when taking up such large engagements. To keep searching and implementing the latest next generation network technologies, staying up to date on advancements in the field is crucial for the success to exceed client expectations. This is all what I do as a network architect. And if you all want to see more content like this, you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next drop.